Another thing that was suggested to me at AU this year was something I'd never considered before. But once I was told, I knew exactly how I could demonstrate it. I'm pretty sure I was doing a beginner's webinar once, and I went to go join a hex bolt to its hole, but I had a problem. As you can see, it's hard to find a good reference from the bolt because it's hex head, and it wants to select the threads and edges which don't make good references. Side note, since that webinar, I've learned to hold the command or control key to lock the face so I could select the center point here, but there's another way. Another solution, the one suggested at AU, is to add joints as early on in the history as possible. Fusion 360 has this unique ability to add joints and model locations to the timeline, which not only helps to avoid broken references, it'll also help me join the bolt to the hole before the threads complicate things. Just roll it back, add the joint, and roll it forward again. It'll take a little practice for me to start to think this way, but I've already started to see other benefits. Take this ball hinge. I need to make the female. Let's see how this ability can help here as well. First thing I need to do is copy and paste this, but if I use the standard copy and paste, it'll give me a new instance. Not what I want. Instead, with this still copied, I'll right mouse click the top level name and select this. Paste new. This makes a new component rather than a copied instance. From there, in warp speed, I'll manually position it so I can see it, apply a new appearance to differentiate it, then I'll add a ball joint. Now it's positioned exactly where I want it and I can start to make real changes, like enlarging what will become the female end. Combining to remove the male geometry, and cutting away the front end. Using the objects to cut option here, of course. Back to normal speed, let's build a number of locking locations. So I'll move this part around, and of course the ball joint is still being observed. Once I position it where I want, I'll use a combine to remove the first bits, and use a circular pattern to add four more instances. And just like that, we were able to build a completely new component using nothing more than a copy, a joint, and some combined features. Can't get much easier than that. I hope this comes in handy. Give it a thumbs up if it does. Cheers.